You're watching Tag TV. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 21st of April. British PM Boris Johnson arrives in India, says UK hopes to clinch Indian free trade deal by year end. Pakistan to cut expenditures, development funds to revive IMF program, says Finance Minister. And Sri Lanka promises impartial probe after first death in weeks of protest. Family demands justice. And now for all the details. Britain hopes to complete a free trade deal with India by the end of this year, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said on Thursday as he began his two-day trip with a visit to India's western Gujarat state. Johnson will hold talks with his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi in New Delhi on Friday, focusing mainly on the free trade agreement and on a new defence partnership. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Thursday began his two-day official trip to India with a visit to the abode of India's iconic freedom fighter Mahatma Gandhi in Ahmedabad city in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state of Gujarat. It is the first time a British Prime Minister has visited the sprawling coastal state, which is the ancestral home of about half the British Indian population and is famed for its spirit of entrepreneurship. He also met Indian billionaire businessman Gautam Adani in Ahmedabad, who said he will work with UK companies to co-create defence and aerospace technologies. Later in the day, during a visit to a new factory being opened by a British firm, Johnson said, Britain hopes to complete a free trade deal with India by the end of this year as he emphasized the need to reduce reliance on foreign oil and gas due to the conflict in Ukraine. I don't think at any time in my political lifetime has the, uh, the living bridge between the UK and India really been so strong. And just on this trip, uh, we've got about, I think about a billion pounds worth of investment coming from India into the UK. They're the second biggest uh, investor in the UK. That, that investment alone is going to drive 11,000 jobs. We're hoping to complete another free trade agreement uh, with India uh, by, the, by the end of the year, by the autumn. The British Prime Minister later also visited the famous Akshardham Temple in Gandhinagar city. He will head to New Delhi on Friday where he is expected to meet PM Modi with talks focusing on a new defence partnership and the free trade agreement which the two countries began discussing in January. Authorities in Indian capital have made wearing of masks compulsory again after COVID-19 infections rose in New Delhi in recent days. In addition, for breaking the rules, a fine of Rs 500 will be imposed. Delhi accounted for more than 42% of the 2318 new infections that India reported on Thursday, taking the country's running total to more than 43 million. The number of active cases in the capital city has risen to 2,641. Two terrorists, including a top commander of Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Taiba terrorist outfit, were killed in an encounter in Baramula district of India's Jammu and Kashmir, police said on Thursday. The counter-terrorism operation was still underway till last reports came in. Security forces killed two terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based Lashkar-e-Taiba LET terrorist outfit in Baramula district of India's Jammu and Kashmir. Security forces, including local police and the army, laid a cordon in Baramula town based on specific inputs. Senior police officials said one of the terrorists killed has been identified as Yusuf Kantru, a top LET commander who was on the hit list of the security forces. The counter-terrorism operation was still underway till the last reports came in. Jab early morning, हमारे जवानों ने टिल्ट के इनिशियली फायरिंग में आर्मी के एक ऑफिसर तीन जवान जख्मी हो गए उसको हम लोग हॉस्पिटल ले गए फिर फायरिंग चलते रहा और आज मॉर्निंग में पुलिस का एक जवान जख्मी हो गया है और अभी तक में दो लश्कर तवा के टेरिस्ट मारे गए हैं अभी ऑपरेशन चल रहा है 
India says Pakistan supports the militancy in Kashmir. Islamabad denies this, saying it only provides diplomatic and moral support to the Kashmiri people. In news from Pakistan, Pakistan's finance minister Mifta Ismail has said the country will need to cut expenditures and development funds as he embarked on a visit to the U.S. on Thursday to seek revival of an international monetary fund program. The South Asian nation is in dire need of external finances with foreign reserves falling to as low as 10.8 billion U.S. dollars. Pakistan will need to cut expenditures in development funds to try and revive an IMF International Monetary Fund program, Finance Minister Mifta Ismail said on Wednesday. Ismail is slated to attend an IMF meeting this week in Washington as Pakistan awaits resumption of US$6 billion US dollars rescue package agreed in 2019, as part of which the global money lender will release over $900 million. The South Asian nation is in dire need of external finances with a yawning current account deficit and foreign reserves falling to as low as $10.8 billion. The new government of Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif also needs to deal with double-digit inflation and slow growth of the economy, which the IMF said in its latest report was likely to stay at 4% against Pakistan's earlier projection of 4.8%. और इस साल भी वर्ल्ड बैंक कहता है कि 4 फीसद होगी। जब हम छोड़ के गए थे तो 6 अशारिया 1 फीसद छोड़ के गए थे। हम महंगाई छोड़ के गए थे 3 अशारिया 9 फीसद पे। मार्च के महीने में महंगाई 12 अशारिया 7 फीसद है। The toughest call for the new government is to reverse subsidies in oil and power and defending a blanket tax amnesty ousted Premier Imran Khan gave in the run-up to his fall, which is mild termed was like planting mines for the new government. Moving on, the poor state of infrastructure in illegally occupied region of Gilgit Baltistan has been widely regarded as the most serious problem impeding growth and development. Locals blame that the region's tourism potential has also been harmed due to the negligence by Pakistan. Gilgit Baltistan is home to diverse flora and fauna and features stunning valleys and crystal blue lakes. If properly developed, the tourism sector can change the fortunes of its residents. However, locals blame the government has failed to repair dilapidated roads and develop infrastructure to attract tourists over the years. There are also no provision for proper accommodation and connectivity that could also create job opportunities while tourists also face issues of their security. इनफॉरमेशन सेंटर होने चाहिए टूरिस्ट की फैसिलिटीज के लिए जो गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से चीजें होनी चाहिए वो बिल्कुल नहीं हो रही है जो प्राइवेट टूरिज्म कंपनीज हैं या जो होटलियर्स हैं या जो भी डायरेक्टली इनडायरेक्टली टूरिज्म से वो बास्ता है वो लोग अपने लिए कुछ न कुछ कर रहे ताकि टूरिस्ट को डोमेस्टिक टूरिस्ट आ रही है इंटरनेशनल टूरिस्ट आ रही है उन सब को फैसिलिटेट किया जाए हमारे इस वक्त जो ना वहाँ गिलगित बल्तिस्तान में जो टूरिज्म के लिए जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलप होना चाहिए था مختلف ادوار میں مختلف گورنمنٹس آئیں لیکن انہوں نے آج تک کوئی پرٹکلی کوئی کچھ کام نہیں کیا ہے Locals claim that politicians make hollow promises to bring about development only during the time of elections. The Pakistani establishment's indifferent attitude has affected all sectors of the society struggling with the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. The daughter of a Sri Lankan protester killed in police firing during clashes in Rambukana town has sought justice for her father. It was the first death in the largely peaceful civil unrest that began last month over the government's handling of the economy. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa has assured an impartial probe into the incident. The daughter of 41-year-old K.D. Chaminda Lakshan allegedly killed in police firing during clashes between police personnel and protesters in Sri Lanka's Rambukana town has sought justice for her father. Lakshan had gone to a petrol station to fill his motorcycle when he got caught up in the clashes as police fired live ammunition to scatter protesters on Tuesday, leaving him dead and a dozen others wounded. It was the first death in the largely peaceful civil unrest that began last month over the government's handling of the economy.
माटा उन्हें मांगी तातर कर पापा दाने साधार ने आकोन मांगी तातर का आटो तेरे दाग कलने आने के लिए मुझे आने President Gotabaya Rajapaksa on Wednesday issued an impartial probe into the incident. Senior police spokesperson Ajit Rohana said a 20-member team had been formed to investigate Lakshan's death and one person had been arrested. Demonstrations have roiled the South Asian island nation of 22 million people for weeks, with people infuriated by shortages of fuel and other items and prolonged power cuts. This comes as Sri Lankan officials have been holding talks with the International Monetary Fund for an emergency loan program to tackle the crisis. But the global money lender has said any deal would require adequate assurances that Sri Lanka could resolve its unsustainable debt situation. In news from Afghanistan, the Taliban earlier this month announced a ban on the cultivation of narcotics in Afghanistan. the world's biggest opium producer the production use or transportation of other narcotics was also banned the ban has forced farmers to seek alternatives like strawberry planting some have also switched to beekeeping and honey production afghanistan kandahar helmand and zabul provinces have always been close to the heart of the world's opium and later heroin trade The Taliban's supreme leader has banned the cultivation of narcotics in Afghanistan, the world's biggest opium producer earlier this month. The production, use or transportation of other narcotics was also banned, but not for the first time. Almost every government in Afghanistan's war-torn country has tried to do the same. Demand for strawberries is high and pretty constant in several districts in Kandahar, prompting them to switch plantation. کش کردیم در حدود روزانه که حال ما چین میدیم پنج جریب کش کردیم و یک جریب توت زمینی مبلغ پنج لگ افغانی که درست زمت کشیده شده ای حاصل میده Agriculture official Mohammad Allah Nuri said that the poppy ban will force the farmers to seek alternatives and local agricultural authorities will provide support نور و مخدرات کو په مقابل کې یو تر ټولو بهترین بدیل دی چې د وزارت زراعت او د نړیوالو مؤسساتو لخوا مکوالو ته د دې تخمونه کود او نور ورکړل شي چې په دغه درې کالو کې د دغه ځمکني توتانو اندازه چې ده The official added that some farmers in Kandahar have also switched to beekeeping and honey production. The perennial problems the country's leaders face are very few means of alternative ways of making a living in the undeveloped mountains and that the profits of the trade are simply much more than are to be found in other legal pursuits. To generate employment and income-oriented avenues in the agriculture sector, authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir region have been promoting off-season mushroom cultivation in the region. This initiative has proved to be a blessing for a brother-sister duo who were motivated to grow off-season mushroom and are now getting profitable returns. Mushroom farming in recent years have been very popular in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory as many youths have shown their interest in it. Many farmers have also switched to mushroom farming and are cultivating mushrooms on a large scale. This move of farmers is helping them improve their financial status and generate employment opportunities for young people. With an aim to generate employment in Udhampur district, the Department of Agriculture has taken an initiative to promote off-season mushroom farming. This initiative has helped Jyoti Thappa and her brother Jugal Kishore to grow mushrooms in off-season and it has proved to be a blessing for them. They have given employment to several locals including 12 women of their village. अभी हमारे पास टेन टू ट्वेल्व लेडीज़ जो हैं वो डेली बेसिस पे काम कर रही हैं और अपने हिसाब से काम कर रही है अपना टाइम मैनेजमेंट करके कर रही है शिफ्ट वाइज काम करती है अगर कोई दो घंटे आ सकता है तो वो दो घंटे आती है अगर कोई शाम में आना चाहता है वो शाम में आता है कोई दिन में आना चाहता है वो एक मैनेजमेंट हम लोग किया जा सकता है और करते हैं द मशरूम कल्टिवेशन रिक्वायर्स एन ऑप्टिमम टेम्परेचर ऑफ सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड 
and can be cultivated in all weathers by providing suitable temperature to it. Mushroom is a fast growing crop and takes only a month to grow depending on production practices and weather conditions. Mushroom cultivation was adopted first in Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh state. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.